five this is part five video in nature of substances lesson from seventh class new science textbook okay so use of acids and bases in your daily life so there are many uses of an acid and bases cleaning agents neutralizers preservatives strain removers medicines etc are some of them so let us know some of their uses so acidity you might have observed that some of your adults suffer from acidity how is acidity caused and what is the remedy for it our stomach produces gastric juice it contains hydrochloric acid it helps us in digestion of food but sometimes secretion of excess acid cause acidity or indigestion so it leaves a burning sensation and pain in the stomach so antacids help us to get relief from the acidity and what are antacids and read the components of antacid tablet strip and what are antacids antacids contain bases and what are the components present in acids that is aluminum hydroxide milk of magnesia the base in the antacids neutralize the gastric juice and give us relief next ant and bee bite have you ever been bitten by a an ant any ant this is bee and this is ant this is this one is a ant so when an ant bites it injects a formic acid into the skin it causes pain and itching in the skin we can neutralize the acid by rubbing the paste of a baking soda on the place of the bite so baking soda is a base and it neutralizes the formic acid soil treatment have you observed the form of sprinkling lime water lime powder have you observed the form of sprinkling lime powder in their agriculture fields lime powder means sunnam so nowadays the use of chemical fertilizers to get higher yield of crops has increased significantly it result in increasing or decreasing of the ph level of the soil so plants do not grow well so when the soil is too acidic or too basic when soil becomes too acidic the farmers treat it is by adding basic substances like quick lime that is sunnam or potassium hydroxide etc if the soil becomes too basic they treat with the organic substances like compost because compost will help by releasing some acidic substances into the soil in this way farmers neutralize the soil in their fields for a good crop yield how can you help the farmers in finding out whether their agriculture fields are acidic or basic so for this we will conduct one experiment so we can help farmers by testing the soil in their fields let us do a soil test so for this activity nearest agriculture fields visit nearest agriculture field and collect soil from that fields take a 10 grams of soil in a beaker and add 500 ml of the water and stir it well filter the solution now test the filtered solution with the universal indicator or a ph paper and check your results so do you that means if you keep the litmus paper in that solution uh, the ph paper the color of the ph paper will be turn into which color so we will match with the scale the color of the ph scale it, it, it will indicate the whether the soil has a acidic or base or neutral so do you know hydrangea plants have a different colors of the flowers based on the ph of the soil so these flower the name of this plant is a hydrangea if the ph of the soil is below 5.5 it gives blue flowers that means acidic solution if the soil has a acidic if the ph of the soil is below 6.5 it gives pink flowers this may help us to find the nature of the soil okay it is interesting thing acid rains do you know the taj mahal is one of the wonders of the world now it is affected by a acid rain rain water with a slight acidic nature is called as a acid rain so the main cause for the acid rain is a air pollution 
So fuels like coal and petroleum emissions have a sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide which react with the rain water droplets and forms as a sulfuric and nitric acid. So these acids come along with the rain water. Acid rain can cause damage to the buildings. Historic monuments like Taj Mahal plants and animals. So these buildings will be damaged by the uh, buildings and plants and animals will be damaged by the acid rains. Hence it is a responsibility to reduce the air pollution. So do you know knee, miss park, Kanuga sticks are used as a chew sticks. In Telugu we can call it as a pandupulla from olden days. Do you know why? Because they have a basic strip substances. That means neem, miswak and conigal sticks have a base substances. So these bases in these sticks neutralize the acids and released by the bacteria in our mouth. Use of acids. So uh, in acids have a some uses in our daily life. Take for example the use of vinegar commonly at the scientifically called as a acidic acid. So it will help in preservation of pickles and other food substances. Citric acid, it will be used for food preservation and in soft drinks like cold drinks also. Nitric acid and sulfuric acid, it will be used in a manufacture of chemical fertilizers and paints and dyes etc. The use of sulfuric acid, it will be used in automobile battery and tannic acid, production of ink and leather. Then the uses of the bases. Calcium hydroxide to neutralize the acidity of the soil. The calcium hydroxide will be called as a sundam. Neutralize the acidity of the soil and white washing of the walls. Magnesium hydroxide, milk of magnesia, it will be used in the antacid tablets and laxative also. Ammonium hydroxide, use it to clean for windows cleaner and cleaning is it. Generally in college they use ammonium hydroxide only. Sodium hydroxide, Manufacturing of the paper, soaps and detergents and potassium hydroxide used for manufacturing of soaps and batteries. Do you know soap is a salt with the basic nature. It is a prepared by adding fatty acids like coconut oils to alkalis like sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. So detergent soap. So detergent soap is used to wash clothes. It contains sodium hydroxide. That means detergent soap contains as a base that is sodium hydroxide. Whereas bath soap contains potassium hydroxide. It is a base. So bath soap contains potassium hydroxide. Detergent soap contains sodium hydroxide. Zinc hydroxide is a base but not an alkali. So this is used in cosmetic products. Here we observe three bits from this solution. So detergent soap contains sodium hydroxide. Bath soap contains potassium hydroxide and cosmetic products contains zinc hydroxide. But all alkalis are bases, but all bases are not alkali. So alkali means if the bases will be dissolved in the water will be called as a alkalis. And prevention and management of the substances and misuse. While handling chemicals, we have to take some preventive measure, measurements. Like do not taste and smell the chemicals and do not let it fall on the body. Use a dropper while transferring the acid from the bottle. While adding to water, make dilution. Pour some small quantities of acid slowly into the water taken in a beaker. Use a holder to hold a test tube and read the precautions given on the containers of the substances. Chemical burns and first time. Start first aid immediately. If any injuries happen in the laboratory, first we have to what we have to do, first aid immediately. Remove contaminated clothes from the person and wash the affected area with plenty of water and don't pierce the blisters. Shift the person to a hospital. In our surroundings, every substance has its own properties and characteristics. The use of these substances for our better living will depend on how much we know about their properties and characteristics. By having hands on experience with proper care, you will get more knowledge about these substances. Even though the chemicals are used in laboratories, so some chemicals, some natural acids and bases are present in our home. So from this lesson, 
so many the uses of the acids and bases and neutralization all things we have learnt and now fill in the blanks taste of an acid is a so generally acids have a sour taste so the ph of substances is 0.0, .0. it indicates the substance is a strong acidic in nature so acidic in nature blue litmus paper turns red color in tamarind solution the nature of antacid is in a base acid plus base when reaction of acid base will be called as a neutralization and it will be formed as a salt plus water the choose the correct answer color of the turmeric solution in acids so it do not changes so turmeric strips do not give any change in acids example to antacid is a vinegar so example to an acid example to an acid is a vinegar because baking soda and caustic soda is a base main component soap component of soap is a base so next remaining bits are if you add a baking soda to lemon juice which gas will be produced carbon dioxide will be produced to treat an acid of natural acidic nature of the soil farmers add calcium oxide to his agriculture fields so battery so battery contains which which acid sulfuric acid so contains sodium hydroxide acetic acid is used for preservation hibiscus is a natural indicator eggshell is made up of calcium carbonate okay thank you the question and answers we will be discussed in the next video okay thank you for watching this video please like my video share my videos to your friends and subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon thank you